Along this video, we we'll continue to read the book The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. And in this one, he says, Be the bank, not the banker. Be the bank, not the banker. Video number 81. Join me. Hello, welcome to Take a Step to a Better You. On this channel, I share what I know and continue to learn. If you are returning, I appreciate you very much. You know what to do to support the message. For those of you who are new, my name is Sherifa Nakalema, a business owner here in Virginia, USA. And let me show you the schedule. I'm here seven days a week. That's too much, right? It has a purpose. Monday, YouTube tips. Tuesday, Wednesday, I do this kind of stuff. Money tips, business tips. Uh, but I, I've been, I switched. Now I use books, so then I added my two cents. Thursday, I like to, whatever I find, I bring, I drive around the USA, and then sometimes I talk to someone. Friday, I'm live, success, habits, anything that's good for us. We come live on Friday, Saturday, live again, but this time more specific for those who are interested in earning one online, please remember that day. And all that up to Saturday is happening at 9.30 a.m. USA stand, please check Google West 9.30 a.m. USA stand. On Sunday, that's a little bit different. I come at 7.30 p.m., a little bit later, actually a lot later. And it's intentional, and that's a motivational day. So that's my schedule. Please consider subscribing. If any of this sounds interesting, I think some of it is relevant to your life. That's my guess. And when you click on the bell, uh, sorry, on, on the subscribe, the red button, click on the bell so that you're notified when things are coming up. And when you see, you see me showing up on your screen, please click on it or in, on your notification. Now, I recently I added a button. For those of you even who've been here, look at the video on the corner. I used to have my photo. I changed it to the subscribe button to make it easy. When you click on that button, uh, it takes you, you can subscribe to the channel. Now, today, we are, Robert, Robert is very interesting. He says, be the bank, not the banker. But I have to remind you why we are reading this book, why this message is important. Robert says, we are, my money comes to us from four different ways. He calls it the cash flow quadrant. He got it from his rich dad in this rule book, rich dad, poor dad. And he says, you are either, now you see where you are. On the left, you are either an employee, you earn a paycheck from someone, or you're a self-employed person, small business owner. Or on the right, you're a large business owner, which I don't think so. You would not be watching me if you're a large business owner. Or you are, that's a joke, but actually it's true. You will not be wasting your time right here on me. You, have, you know much more than that. You know all the tricks already. So on the right, the B stands for large business, and the I is for investors. For those of you who watch me, especially come Friday, please don't confuse these letters. E, employee. S, self-employed or small business. B, large business owner. And I, investor. Don't confuse small business with large business. Small business is on the left. It's still struggling. Okay? So now, these books, these videos, remember this is number 81. Video number 81. But I have all the way from number one when I started open this book. So if you want to watch all of them, I put uh, made it easy. Then the playlist, so pin the comment. When you go to a comment, the top one is mine. And I pinned that, that link. Also in the description. And then I, I stopped putting it in the end screen. If you want to be in the end screen, uh, just find it in the top comment or description. And the description, find an audio book of version is free for one month. You go to my Amazon Audible when you click. Make sure you are searching for the book, Cash Flow Quadrant. Then if you want the real book, the, this like this, then you, there is a link also, the physical book. That one will take you straight to Amazon.com. You buy. Time for reading. For those of you who follow me and come on Friday, you're going to be happy this week. Because I think it's shorter. Shorter than last week, and I intended to do that. I said, let me give them a little break. Last, time, last week, there were 18 minutes and 20 minutes. I'm sure this will not do that. Let's see. Okay. He says, I'm going to book. The title is actually what he said right here. He said, be the bank, not the banker. When I was, Robert is writing now, when I was in the mid-20s, it dawned on me that the name of the game was to be the bank. But that didn't mean to get a job as a banker. 
my advanced education was about to begin. It was during this period that my rich dad had one had had me look up words like mortgage, real estate, finance. I was beginning to train my mind to see what my eyes could not. He encouraged me to understand the game, and when I learned the game, I could do what I wanted with what I found. I decided to share my knowledge with anyone who was interested, like me, what I'm doing here. Anyone who's interested, I share what I find. He also had me read books on the great leaders of capitalism, people such as uh, John D. Rockefeller, uh, J.P. Morgan, Henry Ford. One of the most important books I read was The Worldly Philosophers by, it's called The Worldly Philosophers by Robert Helbronner. By the way, I just downloaded that. I didn't know that book. When I was looking through this, I got that the audio is already in my phone. Okay, for people who want to operate on the B and I side, this book is a must read. By the way, if you want me, I can share an audio book with you. But they allow only one share. You can only listen one time. You cannot, I have these books on my phone. If you, especially those who have my phone number, you can text me, I can share a book, but one time. You get it only one time. You, you cannot, they cannot give you one more free copy. They give you one. Like they're giving people this one one time. That's all. Not more. For people who want to operate on the B and I side, his book is a must read. For it traces the greatest economists of all time, starting with Adam Smith, who wrote The Wealth of Nations. It is fascinating to look into the minds of some of our most important philosophers, the economists. These people interpreted the evolution of modern capitalism over its brief history. In my opinion, if you want to be a leader on the B and I side, a historical, a historical view of economic history is important to understand both our history and our future. Now, he has he listed many more titles right here, but I'm going to just skip. I can't go through all that. The other important books. And he says, while has Brona, that's the one that I downloaded already. Uh, uh, Hal Bonner's book gives you insight into where we have come from, from economically. The other authors, the ones just listed, give their views on where we are headed. Their contrasting viewpoints have been important. They allowed me to see what my eyes could not. My, by reading books like this, I have been able to gain insights into the ups and downs the cycles and trends of the economy. A common theme in all these books is that one of the biggest changes of all is right around the corner. Now, he goes here, and, and once I finish these points, we'll end the video, but there are five points. He says, how to play the bank. <laughs> now you see, you can adopt, you can get what he's saying. How to play the bank. After the 1986 Tax Reform Act, became law, there were opportunities everywhere. Real estate, stocks, business were available for low prices. While it was devastating for many people on the left side, it was wonderful for, the, for me because I could utilize my skills as a B&I to take advantage of the opportunities around me. Instead of being greedy and chasing everything that looked like a good deal, I decided to focus on real estate. Why real estate? for these five reasons. Now, these reasons could still be important for those of you who may want to be in real estate. Number one, pricing. Real estate prices were so low that mortgage payments were far lower than the fair market rent for most properties. These properties made great economic sense, which meant there was little risk. It was like going to a sale at a retail store where you everything was 50% off. Point number two, why he chose real estate? Financing. The banks would give me a loan on real estate, but not on stocks. Since I wanted to buy as much as I could while the market was depressed, I bought real estate so that what cash I could be combined. Oh no, let me read it again. Since I wanted to buy as much as I could while the market was depressed, I bought real estate so that what cash I had could be combined with financing through banks. Point number three, why he chose that? He gave an example, by the way, how he could 
uh, deposit, like if he had 10,000, he would put it down and what he did with the cash he had. But I'm skipping because uh, when you are ready to, to do real estate, you learn, you learn. This information is everywhere. Okay, number three, the reason why he chose real estate, taxes. If I made a million in profit from stocks, I'd have to pay nearly 30% in capital gains tax on my profit. But in real estate, the one million profit could be raw tax free into the first real estate transaction, into the next real estate transaction. On top of that, I could depreciate the property for even greater tax advantages. We talked about this when he was giving an example of a 250 property, how they roll over, roll them over until a, a more expensive one, and they don't pay until they sell it, they, they, until they take out the money. What they do, I think I explained this a lot. Let me not do it again. But he was explaining that the tax advantage is the property. You can keep going in properties without paying taxes. Okay. Now he says that he put some in italics, something very important. And those of you who come Friday, maybe you're going to talk about this. He says an important note. An investment must make economic sense outside of the tax benefit for me to invest in it. Any tax benefit only makes the investment more attractive. Number four, cash flow. One of the reasons he chose real estate. And after number five, we'll end this one. Rents had to be, uh, rents had not declined. He's on the cash flow point. Even though real estate prices had declined. This put a lot of money in my pocket. Paid for the mortgages and most importantly, bought me time to wait until real estate prices went up again. When they did, I was able to sell. Although I carried large debt, it never hurt me because the rents were far greater than the cost of carrying the loan. The last point, number five, an opportunity to become a bank. <laughs> Remember I said be the bank, not the banker? Real estate allowed me to become a bank, something I had wanted to do since 1974. Now, the next video, which will be number 82, will get into the details of, of how they create their money, how they become a bank. But I'll end this one here to make it short for you. Have a break of <laughs> long videos. Okay, my takeaway from that, what I not what he said there that was important is that, like right now, as I'm reading this book, we're in the coronavirus, do you know that the properties but that hasn't really happened because the government, especially here, they help a lot of people so to keep the property not into, got into a recession. But what he was describing, something like this, like the corona, would create that the people cannot afford their properties anymore because they don't have income, they sell. So the rich people come and buy those properties. But what's interesting, is, is what the point was making, is that the rent was not going down. Because people still need uh, somewhere to stay, rent. So you buy a property that to insert is, because it's like, it's like fifty percent off. Instead of one hundred thousand, you buy it fifty thousand. But you may even buy with the renter still in. Have you heard of that? You buy and you buy the, the rental agreements with the buying with the transaction. So they don't move. People don't move. You buy them in. So they still pay the same amount of rent. Well, you just bought the property half the price. That's what he says that he got more cash flow. And my what I would say about that is see, that's how the rich make more money. He, because they, they know the tricks and they have some money to use, because he said he had some cash to use. Now they have this advantage of buying a property at a low price, yet making the same amount of money in rent. What do you think? What do you think about this? The only part I don't like right now in my life is that I don't want to borrow the way he was going to the bank and borrowing money but if i had my own money i, I like to buy half price i don't want borrowing though okay you leave a comment and uh like i always end them i'll say i won't take too much remember the links to get the book if you want the audio if you want the physical also if you want to watch all of the videos see the pin comment the rest of it in the description like i always end them i say take very good care of yourself Take very good care of your families. Take very good care of your health. Take a step to a better you. Bye-bye.